it's your girl, Dr. Nina, and today we talking about back fat. Now that sounds a little weird. Many of you all write me and ask a lot about how to get rid of that bra bulge or even the fat that creates those folds of skin right there on your back that seem to hang over your bra. Some of y'all have even called it back booty. I'm at a loss for work back booty. But no matter what you calling it nowadays, there's no way to just spot reduce your back fat. But all is not lost. You just need to decrease your body fat all over your body, which means that you're gonna create a slimmer and leaner looking body overall. And you know your girl got you with those tips. Make sure you stay tuned and find out how to add those fat burning foods to your diet, how to tweak that daily workout routine, and how to get a great tracking system for yourself and for your progress. Also stay tuned and find out how to win a gift from me on how to get this body fat off overall. Make sure you check out that information section for all the items that I mentioned today. But while I have you, make sure you thumbs up this video if you like it, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel and also my vlog channel. Make sure that you come back on all Thursdays and some Sundays for video uploads. And also be sure to turn on that notification bell so you know when I if upload. If we're talking back fat and getting rid of body fat overall, you need to add fat burning foods to your diet, tweak your daily overall routine and add strength training exercises that help to sculpt a lean back. The first thing I'm going to tell y'all is something we should have done back in middle school. Get a new bra. Go ahead and sling shot the old bras back to the seventh grade where they belong. I know, I know, we all love them sexy, thin line bras with all the lace, but sometimes they are unrealistic. The solution is simply getting more coverage from your bras instead of the skimpy ones that have the thin lines and the thin straps that actually cut into your back and cause your back to look fatter, even if it's not. If the wings or the sides of your bra are too skinny, it can cause lumping. Now y'all know I know a lot about this because I had a breast reduction at the age of 18. Since then and since losing over 100 pounds, I've been a member of the itty bitty titty committee. However, if your support is not right, a lot of times that causes ripples on your back and it causes you to look like you got lumps and bumps everywhere. Now, when I was a 35H, yes H, my mother would pick up my bras from the local bridal shops and go to places where there were bras that were actually fitted for larger women with thicker straps so that they sat correctly on my body and my back and they didn't dig into my shoulders, which can also cause the back to look ripply and have fat and unsightly bulge. So if you want to maintain a nice smooth silhouette, consider changing up the bra you have because it could be causing your issue. Y'all, because the goal is to reduce body fat overall, you need something that gives you a solid tracking system. And I love this thing right here. This bad boy is the Vanity Planet Body Digital Analyzer Scale. Cheese! <laughs> Love this thing. Showed it to you guys for the first time over two years ago. This scale keeps up with your body fat, water weight, muscle mass, and even bone mass. Because it really helps to know when you're losing fat and gaining muscle, which usually means that your body is taking on a leaner look. Even if the scale numbers are going up, a lot of times the muscle helps you look leaner. So you find out what you're gaining even more than what you're losing. Now let's be real, getting a nub on the scale is not always that motivating, but this one is because it lets you know if you're really making a difference. If I'm losing fat, if I'm really getting rid of the things that I don't want on my body. Also, it tells me how to improve because I can see daily how my body is changing. And I'm able to plug in the stats for up to eight users, including their height, weight, and whether or not they're male or female. So if you're interested, go ahead Ahead and check the information section and get 60% off the body digital analyzer scale with my code and link. So go ahead and check the information section for my short and sweet contest with Vanity Planet as we're giving one of these scales away to someone in the US. The next thing you'll want to do is stop all the bloating and inflammation. Y'all, I be bloating a lot, especially if I eat certain foods, and I don't like that. If your body is inflamed or bloated, it's far more difficult to get lean. Refined flours, processed meats, and artificial sugars all lead to bloating. And they can also lead to chronic inflammation, which not only raises the numbers on the scale, it also makes you more tired and makes it harder for your body to digest foods. Blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, and even dark chocolate have things like flavonoids in them, which help to reduce inflammation and get you that lean, smooth back. You all often see me add these things to my diet through smoothies and also juices. While we're talking about bloat, you need to go ahead and move away from the salt. Step away. It might seem really innocent to liven up bland foods without adding calories, but a lot of times what you're causing is water weight gain by having a lot of sodium in your diet, which is going to cause bulging over your bra, your midsection, and on your back. So you can shake your booty like a salt shaker, but step away from from it on your food. 
For the average person, 2,300 milligrams per day is what's recommended. I try to eat below that. And what you'll find is sometimes instantly you start to lose a lot of water weight, especially along the back. The crazy thing about increasing salt is it can also increase your cravings, which makes you eat more. So get creative with the seasonings that you try on your food because more sodium can actually cause more fluid and extra bloat. Some of the seasonings I love include paprika, rosemary, thyme, basil, and even different types of pepper. You you don't have to make real radical changes in your eating in order to get rid of back fat. Basically, you need to make small changes and add certain things to your diet. Try filling up on fiber. Fiber is known for keeping you fuller much longer. When you fill up on it, it helps you to feel fuller faster and it helps you to kick that back fat off your back real fast. Y'all, where do I start? There's so many to choose from like bananas, carrots, beets, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, artichokes, chickpeas, quinoa, oats, popcorn, almonds, chia seeds, and even dark chocolate. I try to ensure that I include these foods in any meals that I'm having for my day or I just include them in any shakes that I have so I get the nutritional value and make sure I get my fiber in. One of the many things you guys write me about is not seeing results even when you take your calories really low. So if you're taking in a very low amount of calories your body can start to get used to that and when your body starts to get used to things it stops reacting to them. If you've been consistently only eating about 1300 calories a day your body can can start to plateau. So I try tricking my body. I've told you guys an average amount of calories I eat per day, somewhere around 1,500 to 1,700. So let's say instead of having 1,300 in a day, let's have 1,300 to 1,500. And maybe I'll switch that up, have 1,500 to 1,700 the next day and kind of alternate. That way your body doesn't get used to one amount of calories. So switching it up like this, even if you stay within a range in your recommended calories for the day, it's gonna help to kick up that metabolism metabolism to fat burning levels and help to sculpt the back and help to give it a more lean appearance quick. The next thing is to take some time and meal prep. Y'all know I love meal prepping, have several videos on it. There's a method to the madness, not just because I like to say, oh, you know, I meal prep. I live a crazy life. So therefore, I have less reasons to reach for the salt, the sugar, the artificial foods if I meal prep and think carefully about what I'm putting in my body every day. You're keeping yourself from having to think so much about what's going in it. If you know you've created healthier meals for yourself, you can trust more of what you've already prepared instead of taking a chance and just going to buy something when you're hungry. Basically meal prepping helps to save you a lot of time, fat, and frustration. Spending a few hours once or twice a week is going to keep you from making bad decisions like extra takeout that you haven't planned for, giving in to easy temptations, and even sodas and juices that are adding extra sugar and calories to your diet. A cleaner diet equals less fat on your back and everywhere else too. One of the biggest things you can do for yourself is switch up that workout routine. Y'all know I'm always talking about switching it up, doing more, trying different things in the gym, but that's for a reason. It's leaning your body out overall and especially giving you that better looking back. So here are just a few things you can try in the gym or even at home that'll give you some good cardio and some fat burning strength. Training. I start my day off with movement and walking. I even end my days with walks a lot of times. It burns extra calories and fat. For those of you all that are just getting started, that's gonna be like your best friend is walking. It's free, it's easy, you can do it anywhere. One thing that has helped me gain a leaner and more toned appearance and physique is not just running and jogging, but mixing that up with high intensity training. So I've told you guys before that I like to run a few miles every morning. However, I like to break that up. So I'll run for about a mile maybe or less, and then I'll start to crank up uphill running. You can do this outside too. Just run and then take some time and walk up some hills or stairs. This breaks up your workout. It helps you to burn fat quicker and it also tricks your body into thinking you're doing a whole lot of different exercises so it can't get used to it. It helps me burn a lot of calories and also fit in some miles. When I started this whole fitness thing, couldn't even run a mile or a tenth of a mile. You got this. Now the next part is fun and has really been helpful for me keeping and burning a lot of fat off my body and specifically my back. I like to do jumps and punches. These are really effective in getting your heart rate up which is gonna help you burn more fat and it keeps that metabolism going. The other thing is don't be so worried about each little punch. Just do what you do. I crank up my music, I get to dancing, I'm listening to Level Up right now, so I'm feeling real good about myself, you know what I'm saying? 
in. Then I throw in some weights. I love doing these rotator cuff moves and I do a set of 16, a set of 12, and then a set of eight. And I do that with all my exercises just so that I can get a well-rounded body workout. So that usually gives me the burn that I need. And then I do punches with the weights and usually that's about a five to ten pound weight you can start as low as you need to but just move and groove the whole point is to keep moving also squats i know we think they're just for our legs but they really help burn fat all over the body and these kicks y'all you ain't gotta get real extra with it but i'm extra so i do these karate chop kicks i do about 40 to 50 of those i try to do this workout about two times a week like i said with the rotations that i've given you guys I really enjoy it and I do find that it keeps me looking leaner and feeling more energetic. And I love the lateral raise and roll machine at the gym because it really directly targets that back fat. I don't put a lot of weight on it. You don't need a whole lot, just enough to be a little challenging, but doing a set of 16, then 12, and then eight has been really good for me, increasing the weight along the way. And I love this machine too, because it's simple, easy, and it's also targeting that back. I also love to throw in the simple things like jumping jacks. Those are really effective for burning fat. And I like to do about a hundred when I do them. And then I do push-ups, which is also great for that back and planks. Guys, if you keep at it, you should see results. So I hope today has been beneficial for you guys. I wanna thank y'all for coming and talking about back fat with me. So hopefully I share some tips that are new to you or even ones that you know you should already be doing. Make sure that you comment, share this video with someone who can use it and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching guys. Beautiful brown baby doll, peace. Thanks so much for all the love and support over on my new website. If you haven't already, go ahead and check it out and join me for new ways to interact with me, giveaways and prizes, weekly emails, as well as my free eight day supernatural video course, which is free when you sign up.